Welcome, here I've got Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 and I'm gonna show you the top tricks of its camera. So at first we have to tap on a camera button here to open it. And for now we are in the standard photo mode, let's see what we've got here. Let me start with this settings bar, as you can see by going to the left or right, we can easily change here the modes of this camera, we can pick the live focus mode, photo mode, video mode, and by going to more we have access to other modes of this camera. So this is a lot, I'm not going to speak about all of this now because I don't have much time, but I suggest you to make experiments with that and just have a good fun. You can also go here to tips, when you tap on this, you you can read about some of these modes so you can learn from this. This is really cool that we have this, now let's go back to the standard photo mode and let me start here by tapping on the screen anywhere like that. As you can see here we have this ring, this is the focusing, uh, so we can focus anywhere we need and this is connected with this slider which appears here. This slider is the exposure compensation so we can control the light of the picture, by going up we can make it more bright and by going down we can make it more dark, so this is really cool that we have this here. And now let's have a look at these buttons here, here we can manage the lenses of this camera, so we have standard lens and when we tap on the second button we get much closer. So this is as you can see connected with the zoom, so let me show you how to use zoom. We can start by tapping on the screen by two fingers, like that. Now we can get closer to the subject, we have also this extra slider here now, so we can more precisely use the zoom. And also this is connected with these buttons, so we can pick how close we want to be. And this is how it works, now let me stay on the standard lens and let's move to these buttons here. Let me start from the right, the first one button here allows us to uh, add some filters to our picture so we can make it more beautiful before we take it. As you can see we have effects and here by using this slider we can add them, like that. So we have the wide spectrum of these filters and this is how it works, for now let me stay unknown and let's move to this button. Here we can control the ratio of the picture, for now this is 4 and 3 ratios of the camera frame here. When I change this to 16 and 9, we can see that here the camera preview has changed. This is the little bit longer one than 4 and 3. The next one is 1 and 1, so the square 1 ratio. And here we have also access to the full one, so we have full camera frame. For now let's go back to 4 and 3. And let's move to this one button, here we have the camera timer so we can change the delay of taking picture, as you can see we can pick from 2, 5 or 10 seconds, for now let me pick 2 seconds to show you how it works. So we have camera timer, now let me take a picture. And here we have the countdown, the picture was taken with 2 seconds of delay. So let me keep this turn it off, and now let's move to this button, when we pick this we can open the advanced camera settings. As you can see this is many of them, uh, so I'm going to show you a few of them. And uh, now let's focus on intelligent features, at the second position here we have scan QR codes option, so by using this button we can turn it off and turn it on. I suggest you to keep this turn it on because this is the easiest and best way to scan QR codes at this device, so when you have this you don't need any other app to do it, you can just put inside the camera app the QRs and just scan them. And now let's have a look on the picture settings, so hold shutter button 2. When we tap on this we can manage uh, what our shutter do when we tap on this a little bit longer. So we can pick take a picture, take bar shot or create gif. Uh, so I'm going to stay on take bar shot to show you how it works with this, because this is one uh, of my favorite options at this camera. When we go back to the camera and this is our shutter, let's pick this a little bit longer one now. As you can see I can easily now take a series of pictures, so I can take many pictures at the same time, this is a really useful option. Now let's go back to the settings and let's slide to the useful features. At the first position here we have Auto HDR option, so we can turn it off and turn it on by using this button. I suggest you to keep this turn it on because the HDR helps to improve the details in the brightest and darkest areas of our photos and it really makes our pictures just more beautiful and lightful. Now let's have a look at the grid lines. By using this button 
we can turn on some help lines and also turn it off like that so let me keep this turn it on now and let's go back to the camera to see them as you can see it shows us these grid lines this is useful for example when we want to use the rule of third in photography or making experiments with composition also remember that these lines are not visible at the real picture so when i take a photo and when i go here to this button where we have access to the gallery we can't see them at the real picture so these lines are only to help us taking better photos and of course when we don't need this we can easily go back to the settings in the left slide again to the useful features and tap on this button so for now they are turned off and here we can see them and now let's go again to the useful features and let's move to the location tax option here by using this button we can turn it off and turn it on when we want to turn this on we have some short information from the device that our pictures and videos will contain information about where they were taken so we have to be careful when we want to share them and we have to agree to this so now it's turned it on also here the important information is that to make it work correctly when we want to save the actual location of the picture we have to be connected with the internet for example the Wi-Fi and we have to turn on the location of this device so to make it work remember about these two parameters now let me keep turning it on all of the settings let's go back to the camera to take another picture and let's go again to the gallery so this is our photo to check it location we have to just simply slide a little bit down and as you can see here we have more details and we have the location with the map and the full address. So greetings from Krakow, Poland, this is how it works here. Now let's go back to the camera and once again to the settings in the left. So now slide again to the useful features and let me focus on the shooting methods now. When we pick this we get access to some settings about the shooting. At the first position we have press volume key to option. So when we pick this we can pick from take picture or record video zoom or control the system volume. So in the standard uh, devices usage uh, the these buttons with uh, the volume allow us to control the voice and sound and with the camera we can pick from this so for now let me pick zoom to show you how it works and let's go back to the camera again and let me try to use these buttons now and as you can see now i can easily get closer to my subject so i can use zoom by using this and also i can go back so this is a really cool option here now let's go back to the settings to the useful features and again to the shooting methods and let's move to the floating shutter button which is the, the second place here by using this button we can turn it on and turn it off like that so this is also a really cool option because when we have this we have some extra shutter that we can move on the screen uh, and take a picture anywhere so let's go back to the camera so this is the standard shutter and this is the extra one as you can see we can move it at the screen like that and when we pick this we can easily take a picture anywhere we need now let's go back to the settings let's slide again and let's focus on the watermark the last position in the useful feature settings by using this button we can easily sorry turn it on quickly and turn it off but as you can see when i tap on this we get access to more advanced options about the watermark we have the same uh, button to turn it on and turn it off like that we have also quick preview so this is how the device watermark looks like samsung camera and shot with my galaxy tab a7 we have also one extra option that we can change the second line so we can change shot with my galaxy tab a7 to our own custom watermark so this is really cool let me change this for example not shot for shots by hard reset and done so as you can see here the second line in the preview has changed and the Samsung camera stays. Now let me keep this turn it on. Let's go back to the camera to take a picture to show you how it looks like on the real one. Let me use for this this floating shutter button. And let's go again to this button to the gallery. So this is our picture. In the left corner at the bottom we have this watermark. As you can see the device, Samsung camera and the custom short part by hard reset. So this is really cool. Of course, when we don't need this, we can easily go back to the camera, then to the settings 
slide again to the useful features and tap on this button for example or just for this so this is how it works we can do it in both way like that and after turn it on and off all of the settings sometimes we want to go back to the auto settings we can do it by using the last one option i want to show you here the reset settings when we tap on this all of this can go back to the auto settings so reset and that's all thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up